the car. With beauty and grace, as swift as can be, watch it flying through the air. It travels in space or under the sea, and it can journey anywhere. Supercar, supercar. It travels on land or roams the skies through the heavens' stormy rage. It's Mercury Man, and everyone cries. It's the marvel of the age. Supercar, supercar. Curious. Most curious. And you blow it to the surface with compressed air. That's right. To think that it has withstood a score of centuries unscathed. <laughs> Mitch, come back with that. Yeah, grab it off him. It may be a monkey wrench, but to have Mitch monkeying around with it makes me nervous. I wonder what Professor Tarman can possibly be discussing with Beaker in there. That guy? He's a professor? Of classical history. One of the best. Well, he sure doesn't look much like a professor to me. More like a professional football player. Professor Popkiss, yeah, we have a job. If you'd like to step in here. I heard back east that you were good at underwater work, and I told myself, terminal son, they're the boys for you. Did I hear you say we have a job? Just signing up Supercar to help me locate the sunken temple of Poseidon, the sea god. What is it exactly you want us to do, Professor Terman? Well, I've been in the Aegean skin diving around the shallows, and... Come up with that. By me, that's proof the sunken temple's not far off, but somewhere too deep for my outfit. How's that? No limited range. Uh, can't carry enough air for a long search. But if you were to nose around in supercar and uh, then call me down when you strike oil... Very well, Professor Thurman. As Mike Mercury would say, you're on. Great. If I go on ahead and organize some sort of camp, uh, can you follow in a few days? Uh, Roger. We shall see you there. Let us say five days from now with Supercar. Fire one. Fire two. Right. All aboard. You and I in the back seat, Jimmy. And you in the trunk, Mitch? Well, you can stay at home if you want. temple to old what's-his-name exists, do you, Don? Well, I am not convinced, but uh, Terman is a brilliant young man. Oh, quite brilliant. But why should it be underwater? Who knows? It may have sunk. An earthquake, perhaps. Some volcanic activity. Anyway, it sure is fun. A Mediterranean holiday. Where are we now? 36 degrees north by about 30 west. We should pass over the Azores in a few seconds. Uh, time... 5.30 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. We'll just be about ready for Professor Terman's camp cook dinner. And here we are, right on schedule. I'd better give them some sort of landing signal. There we are, down below. I can see his light. Uh, yes, that's about the right place. Selecting vertical descent. Sure am hungry, and I guess Mitch will be glad to get out, too. Ahoy there! Just in time for the barbecue.
Gee, Professor Terman, that's great. You aren't like a real professor at all. Well, no, thank you, son. How about that, Professor Popkiss? You make me feel about 190, Jimmy. Perhaps I should learn to play the guitar. <laughs> oh, maybe you should at that. Oh, I see Dr. Beaker is examining the jars I found already. Uh, Dr. Beaker? Uh, my dear fellow, oh, these are interesting. Oh, really, most interesting. Uh, you found them in shallow water, you say? That's right. About 40 yards offshore. It dropped suddenly after that, uh, down 100 feet or more of underwater cliff. Hmm. That could be due to the volcanic activity Beaker mentioned. Anyway, at that depth, I couldn't do much on my air supply. Certainly not like bringing up the heavy stuff by myself. Well, now you can use your outfit in collaboration with Supercar. That is, if Mitch leaves it alone. <laughs> He's heard something. Is anybody there? A good night to you, noble sirs. Who the devil are you? By your favor, good sirs, I am Antonio the Gypsy. And I am truly tired and cold. Could it be that good sirs could spare a warming drink? The night is chill. Oh, well, he looks quite harmless. Okay, you're welcome to a mug of coffee. <laughs> Here, Mr. Antonio, have a seat. Thank you, young master. Antonio has traveled a long way. Just how did you get here? This is a small island, and I thought it was supposed to be uninhabited. Antonio travels far, lives where he can, Thank you for your coffee, sir. I would like to repay you. How? By telling your fortune. Can you tell fortunes? Of all who have the art, Antonio is the best. Sirs, by your leave. Antonio reads the flames. Antonio reads, you have come here to disturb the old island gods. It is true? In a way, yes. I, I suppose you're right, Antonio. We're, we're looking for the sunken temple of Poseidon, the sea god. You will not find it. Antonio sees this. Instead, I see danger, mortal danger, even death, if you persist. Oh, yeah? Well, I foresee a lot of phony baloney and great danger to the guy who persists in handing it out. Oh, steady, Mike. Ah, oh, sirs, Antonio is only a poor wandering gypsy. I mean no harm, only to warn you. Can you really see that? I can and more, but I must go now. I will disturb you no more tonight. You sure you wouldn't like some more coffee? Antonio thanks you, sirs, but no. Remember my warning. Well, can you beat that? Most, most peculiar. <laughs> All set, Professor Terman? Yes, so you go on ahead. I'll slither down that underwater cliff in my own time. Yeah, uh, uh, Roger. Uh, we'll scout around and uh, keep coming back to you to report. That's it. With this telephone contraption, we can have heap big underwater power. <laughs> I uh, I plug in here, right? Right. Well, let's get going. Charging port. Starboard. Uh, somebody help me on with this goldfish bowl, huh? Yeah, I will help you. You sure I can't give you a lift down there? <laughs> no, thanks. I'll walk. <laughs> Plenty of healthy exercise. That's me. OK, but don't get your feet wet. Folks catch cold that way. Let's go, Doc. I too. Seems OK. Switching to turbo drive for underwater and lifting off. See you down there, Professor Terman. Oh, 
you will not listen to the warnings of Antonio the Gypsy, then as the Gypsy I am no more. But as Spiros the Bandit, I have little patience with trespassers. One too curious step, my friends, and we shall see. <laughs> Uh, depth, 80 feet. Yes, and the water is still quite clear. Satisfactory. Most satisfactory. If you feel like a swim, you could always take Terman's place. Yeah, well, thank you. No, I, I prefer my comforts. There's something ahead. I reckon that's it. Better go get Terman. Can you see him, Doc? Um, not yet, but uh, if he followed our week. Ah. Listen, we think we found it about 150 yards over to the right. That's great. Now hold on, we'll give you a tow. Take it steady. We don't want to... Hey! What is that thing, Doc? I imagine it is the god Poseidon himself. Ask Professor Terman. I found something. You're telling us it's just about falling on our head. Oh, I don't mean the statue. There's a square object here that looks almost like a strong box. I don't think they used to have strong boxes in the second century BC. No, but they do in the 20th century AD. And they have a pretty shrewd notion who have already warned us of their property. My dear fellow, I, I am not sure I understand. Professor Terman thinks he's found a strong box, right? I'm sure of it. Well, how long would you say it's been there? Oh, not long. It's not encrusted at all. Then I'll bet our friend Antonio knows it's there. That's why he didn't want us to dive today. I don't know what's in it, but I'll bet Antonio knows that, too. Correct, my friend. So you have taken the too curious step, and it is one too far. Then we'll dive again this afternoon. And we'll take down the acetylene torch. Sure we will. I've always thought I'd make a first-class strongbox breaker. Is that so? We shall see, my friends. We shall see. I, Spiros the Bandit, have something to say about that. Ah, I must say, Professor Tarman, you are a wonderful cook. <laughs> Anything to get out of that diving suit for a few minutes. We'll have to make our second dive soon. Be silent. Here. Now, this afternoon you dive. Well, it may be more dangerous than you think. <laughs> What's up with Mitch? Maybe he's in a hurry for us to get started again, eh, Mitch? I don't know. He's trying to tell us something. <laughs> 
Guess he's just fascinated by that suit. Time I put it on anyway and got down to cracking that safe. Is the cutter ready? Uh, yes, uh, you can um, uh, get cracking with this. Oh, safe breakers must have more patience than I thought. You sure you're okay for air? Should be. 20 minutes each air bottle, isn't it? I haven't switched to the second one yet. So it's about time I did. How's the welding gas? Plenty left. The cutter will last as long as you do. Okay. I'll switch onto the second bottle now. First one's all but empty. Mike! What's the matter? There's, there's nothing in the second bottle. What? Then you've got to surface fast. Switch back to the first bottle and blow out the suit, and you'll go up like a cork. I knew Mitch was trying to tell us something about the diving suit. Weren't you, Mitch? <laughs> anyway, that settles it. First thing tomorrow, we search the whole island for Antonio the Gypsy. Well, I'm not sure it wouldn't be easy to have one last dive for whatever is in that strong box. It's too dangerous. It wouldn't take me a moment. I've done all the cutting I need. My dear Professor Terman, he has already nearly killed you. That's fixed, then. At dawn tomorrow, Doc and I will take Supercar up and find Antonio. And we'll keep an eye on him till Professor Terman finds what's in that strong box. I still think it would be quicker to go down by myself. But it's too dangerous. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. He's gone down again. Terman's gone down to the sunken temple on his own. What does that note say? It says he's sorry to sneak off like this, but he thinks there's a sporting chance of one man getting down and back without being spotted. Sporting chance. Professor Terman seems to want to get things done his own way. We can't let him do it. Well, what can we do, Mike? Take Supercar down to look for him, I guess. We don't even know how long he's been gone. You come with me, Doc. Most certainly. Right. Then we shouldn't be too long. I'll bring him up if I have to pull him to the surface by the seat of his pants. What was that? I don't know, but one thing's for certain. Terman's in trouble. The falls have meddled in my affairs long enough. Let us see if one of my homemade depth charges will discourage them. Good luck. Professor Terman. Beaker and I will see if we can track him. I'm taking this. Good. You're better at that sort of action than I am, Mike. Fire two. And you and Mitch stay here, Jimmy. I may need your help. machine out again, do they? <laughs> Very good. Now I shall settle them once and for all. Fire three. <laughs> Shouldn't be about here, I think. <laughs> I sure hope they find Professor Terman, Mitch. <laughs> Tell you what, though, Mitch, I guess we ought to get out the first aid box. <laughs> Trouble is, we don't even know how large this island is. We must be somewhere near the bay for the explosion to come from over there. Uh, then I suggest we try uh, that way. Are you ready, fools? This must be the entrance pillars to the temple itself. Now, where is the 
Enzo Stombo. a few minutes ago, and there's nothing we can do about it. <laughs> Shall we give the good professor another little present, do you think? Just to make sure. Now, Professor Turman? Sure I do, fine. Teach me to go rushing off on my own again in future. Sorry about that. <laughs> yes, uh, you'd have had more sense, wouldn't you? <laughs> Here's Mike. They got him. We sure did. Seems his name's not Antonio, but Spiros. He's wanted for robbery. Yes, you were right about the strong box. He stole it a month ago. And I would have got away with it if you fools had not interfered. And with these, quite a valuable prize. Gee, diamonds. A nice little haul, I'd say. The treasure of the new world. But nothing compared with the glories of the old. As soon as I'm fit again, we'll go down. If, if, but I really think... <laughs> well... Looks like I've got one volunteer, at least. Supercar! Supercar! With beauty and grace, as swift as can be. Watch it flying through the air. It travels in space or under the sea. And it can journey anywhere. Supercar! Supercar! 
It travels on land or roams the skies Through the heavens' stormy rage It's Mercury Man and everyone cries It's the marvel of the age Supercar 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 